I saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We commemorate and celebrate today the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran, mother and head of all the churches. To prepare hearts and minds to celebrate this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our human weakness and we seek the face of God by acknowledging our mercy. I confess to, to Almighty my God. God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from all living and chosen stones, you have prepared an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have restored, so that by the new growth of your faithful people, we may build up to become the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate where the water flowed out on the right hand side. He said, this water flows east down to the Araba and to the sea and flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. 
Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health. And life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river, on either bank, will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress, so we shall not fear Though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, the, the water of a river gives joy to God's city, the and holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. It cannot be shaken. God will help, help it at the dawning of the day. The, the waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I have chosen and consecrated this house, say the Lord, for my name to be there forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple, he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons. And the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cord. He drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changes coins, knocked their tables over and said to the pigeon sellers, take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of scripture, zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, what sign can you show us? To justify what you have done Jesus answered destroy the sanctuary and in three days I will raise it up the Jews replied he has taken 46 years to build the sanctuary are you going to raise it up in three days but he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body and when Jesus rose from the dead his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scriptures and the word he had said.
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We commemorate and we celebrate today the feast of the Basilica of St. John Lateran. In actual moments, you will find four basilicas in Rome, if you've been to Rome. There is the Basilica of St. Peter. There is the Basilica of Mary Majors. And there is the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls of Rome, together with the Basilica of St. John Lateran. This beautiful basilica is built by Emperor Constantine in the 12th century. What is interesting about today is because the Basilica of St. John Lateran is considered the mother house. It's where the, the Holy Father resides. It's the home, it's the Bishop of Rome, which is the universal church. And that's why we dedicate this day to the whole experience of the Basilica, which is the home, the household of the universal church. What is important today is that we should never, we should never get stuck into the whole experience of buildings. We should never find ourselves looking at structures and buildings because it is merely an external image which has limited values, buildings. What it needs to do is it has to find a connection with your spiritual life. It has to allow you to enter into an encounter and in this experience of God. That's what buildings do. When you step into this whole experience of a structure of this basilica or this church or this temple of that is in the readings today, it should allow you to find this connection to the interior spiritual life. You find this in Ezekiel today. It's so beautiful. Ezekiel speaks about this river flowing within the temple. It's a very symbolic way because it speaks about grace, the life of grace that flows into your life within that whole experience, which gives life, as Ezekiel says, which leads into life. That's the life of grace that you and I experience, the very flow of God's presence within that. If you look in the lecture today, there's actually a second reading. It's letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We only took the first reading. St. Paul says, you are the temple of God. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are God's dwelling place. And that's how God resides in us, the dwelling, the abode, the sanctuary of God. God lies within us. And that's the life of grace that is turning and churning into our lives. But the question is, when you and I have made this sanctuary of God a marketplace, as the gospel tells us today, when you and I have turned this house of God within us into a place when there is money changes inside here, when there's pigeon sellers in here, we do it every day, my dear friends, by our words and by our actions. We do it very often. We have made the house of God into a marketplace. And the Lord invites us today, the flow of that grace will be hindered because we need to cleanse this marketplace. We need to purify this. We need to allow this sanctuary of God to be dedicated to God and God alone. As we celebrate this great feast of the dedication, which is merely an external structure and building, let us take a moment to look at the house of God within us. For the many times that you and I have turned this house of God into a marketplace. With our preoccupations from day to night of the worldly things, as we draw closer to the face of God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you all that you have asked are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and the resplendent with the glory of life acceptable to you. Year by year you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly kingdom. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, Father, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Build up like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood.
Let us pray. O oh God, you who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today for the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran, may abound you in heavenly blessings. Amen. And may he who has willed that all his scattered children should be gathered together in his Son, grant that you may become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, when you are thoroughly cleansed, may God dwell within you, and grant you to possess with all the saints the inheritance of eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, Michael, the archangels, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection against the wickedness and snares of, of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly, humbly pray, and, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed feast day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.